Hello, this is a quick look at the MyGoo YD-118C infrared remote control helicopter. This looks pretty cool. I'd say I do like the styling. The green and black styling looks nice and aggressive for a helicopter. And you've got just on the bottom a little camera, which takes a memory card, and that's how you charge the camera on the back there. And then there's a small power switch just on the side. To control this, you get a remote control, and that has everything you need on it. So you can also activate the video and the photo, as well as there's the usual controls and trim. You will need a screwdriver to pop the batteries in, and one is kindly provided, but you will need to provide the batteries yourself. You also get two charging cables, one for the helicopter and one for the camera. It's a pity they both didn't use the same kind of adapter. And you get a couple of spare parts, only those little two parts. You also get a 2 gig memory card and that comes pre-installed in the camera and it takes three AAA batteries in the actual remote control. Once you've popped these in, you're then ready to get out and about and start flying. You just need to turn this on and when you turn this on, you'll see lights on the helicopter as well. So that's pretty cool. And there's some lights on the camera as well. So you can double check to make sure it is recording that light changes red. You could use this indoors. It, it's not massive, so it is possible to use this indoors, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's actually quite difficult to control. So you do have left, right, forwards, backwards, but uh, you really want outdoor space. So you can see here, I've got pretty good control of it. I was actually quite pleased I didn't immediately crash this and you can see it hovers quite nicely, but uh, eventually you probably will fall to the ground and it does a good job of resisting all impact. And you see the footage in the bottom right is from the camera itself, the onboard camera, and it's okay quality. You've got to remember this is a very low cost little device. Now, one thing to note though, is that it's infrared controls, and that's a real pain actually, because at times it means you lose complete control of the device. You've got to be pointing this directly at the unit. So if you don't point it at the unit, nothing happens. And that's a real shame. I'd, I think I'd rather go for a proper remote control device over this. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.